Hey, what's going on, guys? Smarty, and welcome to my hidden bridge tutorial. So, today, guys, I want to show you how to make a hidden bridge. Uh, before I do so, I just want to show you how I'm going to cross from this side to the other side safely without dying. Uh, to do this, all I have to do is just turn on the lever here on my left, and then the bridge just pops out from the ground, and then I could just cross safely along the bridge go into my house and uh, turn the lever off and it should go back into the ground and by the way I've just built this just for the purpose of showing you how the bridge actually works so uh, I want to go back outside now and start building the hidden bridge and show you how it actually um, come together within like 10 minutes so it doesn't really take that long to build a hidden bridge okay I think I want to build it on this side here so uh, what we need to do is okay I need to it's going to be 10 by 10 so I want to move a little bit away from my lava area there so it's going to be yeah I want to start it here so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, it's going to be 10 by 10 so yeah it's going to be 10 by 10 and 3 blocks deep so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then 10 this way as well, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and I don't really have to count now cool, uh, what I'm going to do is, because it's going to be long for me just uh, removing all this dirt in here I'm just going to fast forward this bit and it's going to be 10 by 10 and 3 blocks deep so I'll see you guys in a bit Okay guys, so I've just finished off this place here, so I am ready to start building my hidden bridge. So all I need to do is now, uh, what you need to do as well guys, so you need to have, uh, you need 12 pistons and, need, and you need to place them in this order. So they need to kind of face up. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we need to make two lines of 6s in here and then you need to make sure you're two blocks away from uh, from the sides from this side here from the front and from the back and you need to be uh, six blocks away from the wall there uh, if you've done this so you're on the right track so you're doing well and now what I need to do is just place the repeaters and you need to make sure the repeaters are facing the pistons uh, we've missed one there one here and the same on this side and make sure you've got enough repeaters. You need 12, uh, actually no, you need 13 repeaters for this to work. And uh, we need some redstones. And make sure you pack enough uh, redstones with you. And same on this side. All we're doing now is trying to connect the pistons together so they could be activated at the same time from, you know, from this side or from the other side. And uh, I just wanna, mm, I'm just going to connect them from this side here together. So what you need to do is just count one block away from the wall and then go down one block and then and then on the third block, no you don't need to do this here, and then on the third block you need to go down two blocks and same on the fourth and on the fifth and then on the sixth you need to go down just one block. So if you just follow me exactly what I'm doing now you should be, uh, yeah, you should be doing it right I suppose. If you're doing it exactly the way I'm doing it, and then you need to place a repeater in here, facing the wall there, and then uh, redstone, and we've just pretty much now we've connected all of them. All we need to do is just activate them, and to do this, we need to make an inverter on this side here. So from the second repeater, you need to go uh, one, two blocks, one, two, and then place a dirt block there, or it could be anything really, but I'm just using dirt and then from the last block here you need to go one two and place another block there you should have three blocks in between and um, we need to place one in the back there and now it's time to use the redstone torches so one could go here and as you can see they're both activated one could go here and one at the back there so to deactivate them what we have to do is just place some redstones in between and as you can see they are deactivated so what we need to do now is just link the inverter together from the back like so and now we need to connect them into a lever so we need to connect them in this way 
And where shall I place my? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to place my lever just on top of this block here, and then place some red stones on top of this block, and then a dirt block or whatever I use, and you know could be any material really, stones, cobblestones or whatever. So it doesn't really matter what materials you're using, this still works fine with the red stones. And then we need to do the same on this side uh, here. I need to place a, a dirt block here, red stones on top and another dirt block on top. So yep, this is all perfect. To make sure this whole thing is working, we need to go up and test it and you know when you're playing with um, you know when you're using actually dirt stone uh, dirt <laughs> so when you're using red stones you need to always make sure that uh, you are making the right moves so always check and what you're doing okay oh gosh okay oh yeah guys sorry uh, as you can see the right side is going up before the left side so to make sure they both go up and down at the same time what we need to do is just place the repeaters on this side here on the second notch so I shall check if they all work fine now they should actually so let me just check perfect and uh, just on another tip guys when you playing around with redstones or when you you know when you're using redstones or whatever always make sure every time you do something you always make sure to check it if it's working um, I need to place another torch on the other side actually first so okay uh, what I need to do now is actually I want to cover up this whole place up oh yeah before I do this I want to tell you one tip and this tip is very helpful whenever you've got a red sun on a block like this connected uh, actually, you know what? I need to close up this bit here first. Yeah, whenever you got a, a redstone connected uh, like this on a block, uh, you need to place a glass block first because if you place any other material, it would actually disconnect the redstones and it won't let it go through the, the block. So, uh, redstones could only travel through glass, and you could do the same in this side here. And just to make sure that everything is working fine, I just want to go back up and just check in case if there's something wrong. I I never trust redstones, that's the truth. Perfectly. They're both going up and down at the same time. Perfectly, yep. Cool. Uh I wanna cover up this whole place now. Uh so I could place uh I think I wanna place water on top, because uh, lava is gonna take me like forever to go and get the lava, so yeah, I'm gonna go with water. Uh I'm just gonna fast forward this until I just cover up all this bit. Okay guys, I just covered up all this bit here, actually, I've still got, oh yeah, I've still got this side to cover up as well, so just make sure you cover up just the, the two blocks in here, uh, and yeah, ten this way and two blocks this way, and after this I need to place some stones on top of the pistons, I mean you could use whatever materials you want as well. Um, you could even use glowstones, I suppose. Um, you know, I haven't actually tried glowstones. If you could actually push it with a piston, I don't think there's a pr should be any problems actually pushing a glowstone with a piston. Should be alright, I suppose. Cool, uh, it's all done. So what I want to do now is just place some stones on top of the pistons, like so and test it once again perfectly so now what I need to do is just make an infinite water source so I don't really need any of these now so I can just put them all away and I just want to make my infinite water supply in here cool I had more buckets, yeah, exactly. I thought I had more. And just pour them randomly, really, it doesn't really matter where you pour them. And it's a few more buckets. I think 
one more and it's done now we've got our influence water oh no we need one more there cool perfect so I just want to test it out for the final time and as you can see it's fully working we could just cross along the bridge go to the other side and turn it off from the other side and it's fully working and when this actually happens all you have to do is uh, you know when this sort of water thing happens you could just um, get water and just have one block like this and fill it up with water and whenever the bridge goes up and down now it goes up and then it goes back down as you can see this little block here would fill up the whole place where it's like you know was affected by the bridge when it was up so uh, you could you know place some um, slabs or whatever to cover up this bit and uh, this is it this is how you make the hidden bridge in water and in lava I mean it's exactly the same method I've used to make it in lava all what was different I had on top it was lava instead of water so this is how you make a hidden bridge so I'll see you guys in my next video and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't so I'll see you guys later take care and bye bye